Hi, I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle, and I've got a heck of a thrifting adventure to share with you today. About a week ago, I was filming a thrifting video that I haven't uploaded yet, and I caught a glimpse of a piece of cross stitch. I was sure that I wanted it, and I set it down to keep looking through the rest of the kits and somehow forgot it and didn't even remember that it existed until later when I was editing the video. Or is about 30 miles round trip from the house, which is not bad, but it took me a week until I had an opportunity to get up into town again. Now, I've driven to town and back 10 different times taking my son to and from work, but I had to get to town while the thrift store was open. So, today was the day. I got to go. I was kind of alternating between holding my breath and hoping that it would still be there because I had an idea of what I thought this piece was. Let me know in the comments if you think you know what that is. There will be another clue. And so I got the chance to drive up to town and I stopped at the thrift store where I filmed the video last week about that oil painting that I loved so much. I was curious about a lamp I had caught a glimpse of in the corner of the video. When I went into the store, it had been totally rearranged. So I thought the lamps were gonna be gone, but that, I mean, it's fine. Then I went around a corner and there was the lamp and two of its bestest friends. I don't know why, but the little inner hunches that tell me what I should and shouldn't buy at the thrift store told me that may this isn't the lamp for me. I want a hobnail milk glass lamp desperately, but I think there's going to be another one if I wait and I'm patient. So I'm waiting and I'm patient. Then I walked around and looked at the desk that I did not see the graffiti when I was in the store last time, but I saw it in the video and was curious to go back and get a closer look. Those are both variations on I'll Miss You from, it looks like two separate people. So when I first saw the graffiti in the video, I was thinking, did this come out of a classroom or where was this that it got written on? Now I'm wondering, were these family members who wrote on it? I'm just, I would love to know the story behind that. Then I saw a sign pointing saying tools that was in, to a back corner of the store. Apparently there's a room back there that I've never been in before. But I didn't make it to the room because I was distracted by this aisle with the pegboard and the really random assortment of stuff that makes me not sure if this is a thrift store or an antique store. It's a lot of really super random new old stock and it's like ponchos and party decorations and I wonder if the owner of the store buys storage lockers or something. There's got to be a reason this is all here but this is what caught my eye. And again, I did not scream in the thrift store. Look at these. If I'm going to find, I don't think these were new old stock. I think these had actually belonged to someone else. I kind of bought all the needlework kits because they're not hard to come by, but to come by them for $1.50 each and that many at one time, I love these. This is the first one that I saw, the one that caught my eye, and if I had a unicorn Jiffy Cruel kit, this would be a top contender. I love spinning wheels. I don't know. Yes, I know why I love spinning needles, wheels, because I knit and I want to spin, and I have a spinning wheel. There's a whole saga behind that, but I love this. I adore this. I would have paid a lot more than $1.25 for this, but we won't tell the lady in the store that, okay? And then right behind it was this one. The, these are, these exactly sum up what it is about these old kits that I love. I am just tickled. But that wasn't it. I love these. These are 
mid early mid 70s and I've done one of two or three of the needlepoint ones actually and they work up really quickly and I don't know when I'm gonna stitch these but I'm gonna put them in my stash and I'm going to stitch these and I mean doesn't this bird scream vintage to you loudly and this one now I'm confused because look at this and then look at the print is can printed canvas on the back and it doesn't have the lattice. I am crossing my fingers that there are directions in here that will tell me how to do the lattice because I need to do the lattice. And there were two of them. I thought at first that they had duplicates, but no, these are two separate flowers and I am just squealing about these. You don't scream in the thrift store. And I didn't scream in the thrift store. And I also like this one. But this effect is all the stitching. It is not what is on that canvas. So I deeply hope that there are directions that will tell me how to do this. Or I will search YouTube videos or something. And then there's this one. I'm going to make this one. And I'm going to hang it on my wall. And I'm going to wait to see how long it takes my son to notice it. Because look at what I found. If you don't watch my thrifting videos, we have got an ongoing thing with cornucopias. And I was going to knit one, but, well, now I'm getting a needlepoint one before I knit one. I love this. I am so happy I found this. And that boy has upped his cornucopia game. He will now put... He has got such a mom come look at this thing. And he alternates them with actual things that are worth crossing the store to look at. And dang it, he gets me every time. Drives me nuts. So, for $14.50, I got 10 of these Jiffy kits that I love so much. I didn't scream in the thrift store. I'm just tickled and I'm gonna I don't have immediate right now plans to stitch these but I'm gonna stitch them and I'm just if I hadn't walked out of the other thrift store without that cross stitch I would not have gone back into the store so soon it's just a whole series of weird little things that put me in the right place at the right time and yay the lady said that her girls had, they had all come in at the same time and her girls had scattered them all over the store. So when I got them, they were all in the same spot. I may go back in a couple weeks to see if any more have materialized. And then I went back to Teen Challenge. And I was holding my breath. Went straight to the craft section. Somebody had totally rearranged it. So I'm thinking, there's no way. There is no way that that piece of cross stitch is still there, especially not if it was what I thought it might be. The very back, behind all the patterns and kits, was the bag. Someone had taken it out, unfolded it, and refolded it. Did you have a hunch the first time I showed you a glimpse of it? Does this kind of confirm what you think it might be? I didn't open it up in the store because whatever it was for 99 cents, it was coming home with me. I waited till I got out in the car to unfold it. I didn't scream in my car either. I was really good about not screaming. Look what I found at the thrift store. Now do you know what it is? This was there for a week waiting for me to come back and find it and I'm kind of convinced this was meant to be I found a mid Amish life at the thrift store for a dollar look at this now there's a question what do I do with this because I want to stitch a mid Amish life I adore a mid Amish life it is one of my dream projects and the needle just fell out onto the floor and you know I'm gonna Make sure I don't leave it there and let it get embedded in the carpet because that would hurt. 
I want to stitch a mid Amish life. I have the pattern, but I am the sort of stitcher who I very definitely want to stitch it myself. And honestly, I think she did all the fun stuff. What's left here is, I mean, it's significantly done. My idea is maybe to incorporate it into a tote bag so that it stays in this world and it gets put to use and I get to enjoy it while I get around to stitching my own. What would you do if you found this at the thrift store? Would you have left it behind in the first place? Would you have gone back to see if based on this little tiny corner that actually was a mid Amish life, would you have recognized it from this teeny tiny corner? I am literally, this was what I saw the first time I was in the store. How the heck did I make that connection? And on the same day that I was sharp enough to make this connection, be silly enough to walk away without it. How does that work? I am just tickled and giddy and happy and I don't know what all else. I'm going to put it, tuck it carefully away and think about what I'm going to do with it. I'm keeping it. I'm not finishing it myself, but I'm not. I'm keeping it. It's mine. Fair and square. I just... How do you get this far and then not finish it? I just, how? And yes, I've got projects that should be finished that aren't. And I hope that nothing happened to our mystery stitcher. I hope, I don't know what I hope. I'm glad I found it. I'm glad it will continue in this world. I am totally saving the stitches. I just need to think a little bit about how to best save the stitches. Let me know, what's your best Save the Stitches find? Was it a project that you were really excited about stitching yourself someday that you already had the pattern for? I don't know if it's bigger than I thought it was or not as big as I thought it was going to be. I'm just, I'm going to go around for the rest of the day probably carrying this thing around my house and swooning over it. And swooning over my little needlework kits. It was a... For a super quick thrifting trip, this one paid off big time, and I can't get over it. I will, at some point over the next week or so, upload the video that this originally showed up in. Some, some weeks the thrifting is really good, and there's lots of stuff to show you, and then some weeks there is nothing. So I kind of try to space out the videos so that we don't, you guys don't get long dry spells. I get long dry spells. I'll be uploading that and probably floss tube within the next couple of days. And I just, I was having a bad week and still have things I need to deal with. But this made me feel better. Shouldn't shop as therapy, but you know, sometimes that happens. Thank you for watching. I am Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle. And I'll be back with you with more videos very soon.